years, a global movement has inspired millions of people to give back and celebrate generosity. Giving Tuesday is the biggest fundraising day of the year for nonprofits all across St. Louis. Yeah, and Stray Rescue of St. Louis is one of them. After seeing the worst year of animal abuse they've seen in more than a decade, their medical bills have never been higher. News 4's Caroline Hecker shows us that there is a silver lining behind the heartbreaking stories. <laughs> It's a place of refuge. Hi, buddy. For those tormented by the streets. You got a rest, baby boy. An abundance of blankets, food, and most importantly, Hi, baby boy. Love. Between the stabbings and the gunshots and just starvation, I, it, we honestly were kind of overwhelmed with how many animals were just coming in starved. We'll start working our way back. For more than 20 years, Stray Rescue has fended for those unable to fend for themselves. <laughs> Fueled by donations and grants, the nonprofit has saved thousands of animals, like Wishbone, from certain death. Aw, hello. They found Wishbone just a few days ago, wandering a wooded area. Let's go get you some help. An x-ray would reveal a washcloth caught in his stomach. He survived surgery and now has a chance thanks to Stray Rescue. The levels of starvation that we're seeing takes months of neglect. <coughs> Donations on Giving Tuesday go primarily to medical costs. Everything from vaccines to surgeries to medication. This year, costs are record setting. I've spent over $2 million so far this year just in medical. Mm -hmm. And every dime has been worth it. And we've had so many wins and saved so many lives. Currently, Stray Rescue is home to more than 125 dogs, with another 450 in foster homes. Come on, bud. As for why they've seen high numbers of abuse, who put you here, huh? Caldwell can only guess. We've become a disposable society, and I think that includes animals. And I think when people are done with them, they just throw them out on the streets. While their rescue videos can be hard to watch, Caldwell says people need to know what they're up against. The truth can be brutal, but that's what we, you know, but that's what we deal with. I would sink you, but you might want to not be rescued then. <laughs> In St. Louis. <laughs> be like, lady, let me out of this Jeep. Caroline Hecker, News 4. All right, after seeing that, listen to this. Donations to Stray Rescue of St. Louis will be matched through midnight. The nonprofit plans to open its new facility in the Bevo Mill area in the next several years, and it is one of many metro organizations raising money on Giving Tuesday. We have compiled a whole list, and you can find them inside the KMOV News app and KMOV.com. So many good organizations.